is a quick recap on how to set up your artwork in Illustrator and Photoshop to animate it in After Effects. In Illustrator, you want to click right here, HDTV. It's 1920 by 1080. That's the screen resolution we're working at. I click once with my left mouse button and it'll open up a template. This black line is your artboard edge. The first set of guides is for your live action. You want most of your main action to happen inside here. You can fill the edges of the screen, that's fine, but the most important stuff should try and be within this first box. The second box is your title safe. This is where, once your text is done animating and has resolved itself, it should fall within this area. If you've ever seen a YouTube video on a TV and the text is cut off or some of the graphics aren't on the screen, it's because it was not in the title safe area. All your logos and text should be within here. It's very important or it will get cut off. When you're working, you should be in an RGB color space. So I went file, document color setup, and I'm already at RGB. You could switch it here. That's how you make sure you're in RGB. So I'm gonna create two simple shapes. Obviously your work will be more complicated. I'm just using simple shapes because it's faster to teach this way. If I want this to be on a separate layer, I just click the new layer button right here. I click and drag this color icon. Now it's on a new layer. You can see the icon switching, showing which layer I have my selection on. That's the fast, easy way of moving things from one layer to another. Another thing you can do, I'm gonna add some text here. I'm holding down shift as I drag to keep the aspect ratio of it. And I'm gonna make a new layer. Let's pretend I need this precise placement. I want my logo to be right here, but on a different layer. If I hit Control X or Command X to cut, I select my new layer. Now if I hold Shift when I do Control V, so if it's Control Shift V or Command Shift V, that will paste in place. So it'll paste it exactly where it was before. I'm gonna undo that and show you what happens if I just do a regular paste, Command V. See it moved? I did Command Z to undo. Command Shift V or Control Shift V to paste in place. That's another crucial little shortcut. Some of you are gonna be doing brushes with your artwork. Here's my brush button over here. If I click and drag, there's my brush. If I go Window, Brushes, now I've got more options. I can click on this one right here and drag. And I can go to my Properties, select it with my selection arrow, and increase the scale to see more detail of it. I can click the new button right here to do a new brush. I'll do a bristle brush and click OK. I can start adjusting it to get the settings I want. Opacity will give it a thick or thin wetness to it. Same with stiffness, you can get a softer brush edge. And you can change your settings to get different looks. Once you get what you like, click OK. I go back to my brush. Now when I drag, I've got a completely different looking brush than the other two. I'm gonna click back on my layers panel, click plus to make a new layer. I'm gonna grab all of these brush strokes, put them on a new layer. I'm gonna double click to name it. I can close this window now that I'm done. I'm gonna hit save. When you're doing this, save your computer. I'm gonna save it to my desktop. I'm going to do the default AI setting. I hit save, keeping the presets the way they are, and I'm fine. So now I click back into After Effects, new project. I can import it in three different ways. I can double click on the empty project space. I could go File, Import File, or go to my Finder, where I saved it, click and drag into After Effects. For this, I'm gonna go File, Import File. I'm going to click one time, then under Import As, I'm gonna change footage to composition, retain layer sizes, and click import. This is important, it's gonna keep all my layers, and it's gonna keep everything the size it is. So now I've got a new composition, which is the same thing as clicking the new composition button here. So I double click to open it, and here's all my artwork. Now, this right here, that's the show or hide transparency button. 
but I can put a solid behind here so I can see my artwork better. So I'm going to go layer new solid. Layer new is where you add all your new things like lights, cameras, shapes. You can do it here. I'm just going to stick with light blue and put it on the bottom. Because remember, what's on top of your layer stack is what's seen on top here. So I can get my logo text, which is right here, move it above, and then put my brushes below my shapes. And just remember, whenever you import an Illustrator file, you have to continuously rasterize the layers. Rasterize is in the switches settings. These checkboxes are switches mode. Right here, toggle switches and modes. These are my modes. You can see mode and track map right here. Mode lets you know you're in modes. Click again, and there's my switches. And that's where you can continuously rasterize. Clicking there to put the icon on. When hit save, and then I'll show you the workflow for Photoshop.